Today we're back looking at some more Karens, however these Karens are British Karens. I feel like whenever it comes to Karens people always think of American women. But fun fact that ain't true, today we're going to be looking at just British Karens. Yeah. Oh, I love how everyone's laughing at her. Look at her with her wee beard. I love how literally everyone in the back room is laughing at her. You would think whenever it comes to Karens, they're like 40 years old now, they're about 17 now. She's from the hood, living in the hood. I can guarantee you she is not. There's a high possibility she comes from a very, you know, wealthy family. I've noticed a lot recently that a lot of like posh kids try to put on like a rough accent. Or like they try to speak like in a roadman accent. I don't understand it. If you're American, basically a roadman accent is a different type of accent. So whenever you think of like a posh English kid, you're probably like, oh, hello. That's a really bad accent. But you know, your stereotypical posh English accent. A lot of times posh people try to sound like her, which is like the opposite of posh. People repeat when they can't argue and have no vocabulary. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest, I probably had to bleep half of that video. That girl was like a person with Tourette. She was swearing every blooming second. Can you right. not block my way, please? Yeah, no, Can no. you not block my way? Can you Help! Oh my god, why does she kind of sound like a cat? Have you ever heard a cat late at night mating? Sometimes late at night, cats will like make like a really weird meow noise. So you know how she sounds like a cat basically they'll meow. And it's like a mating call for other male cats again who come and do them. She sounded exactly like a cat. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. It's okay, thank you, I need to talk to him. Excuse me. Oh, can you right. not block my way, please? Yeah, no, Can no. you not block my way? Can you... Help! Help! She sounds like a cat. <laughs> She is I'm insane. Back. I am back. I need a conversation with you. There's no need to shout like that. I just that's good. I started recording. Right, I'm very glad. I should do the same. Right. So okay. I looked on so what's the issue? Uh, the issue is why are you parked here? He so needed a poo. The, the toilet. And why are you using our toilets? Because when I looked online, I typed in public toilets near me. This came up as a public toilet. Well it's not correct. Well right, Google okay. should change that. Uh, it wasn't I followed someone in. I didn't, I didn't unlock it or anything like that. I followed someone in as they went in. Right, well, you've they been came here up before? to talk. Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. And I've came straight in before. There's been right. no issues or anything like right. that. Well, there is an issue, and I'm saying to you, please do not come here again. Right, but there's no need to scream at the top of your voice for no you reason at all. Me. I was I not was threatening here, and you were threatening. I was me. trying to get to my van. And right. He was okay. not threatening you. Yeah, but he didn't say you're blocking me to my vehicle, right? Yeah, and I am recording this as well. Property. Right? You're on my property. Yeah, but you're actually false imprisonment at the moment, so I can't get into my van. <laughs> false imprisonment? Well, yeah, I'm trying to get into my van to leave, right? And you're not letting me leave. I want you to assure me that you will not come here again. Oh, I definitely won't come near her again. Okay, you're free to leave. Right. Yeah, I am. Oh, God, so that was absolutely terrifying. We do have a part two, by the way, so we're going to hear what he had to say. Right, so I started recording because I was sat in the toilet doing my business i heard her come in and she said um uh, excuse me hi maintenance guy why are you parked in my car park um why are you using my toilet and all that i didn't respond because obviously i was in the middle of my business and all that and i just had a gut feeling that something was gonna go wrong i, I just knew it was gonna kick off or something because she um there was another bloke in there he responded and she kicked off at him and it wasn't even him it was obviously me um so yeah that that is why i start recording because she kicked off at that bloke when it wasn't even him it was me and he just he was foreign and he murmured something so lord almighty that granny was in the proper mad one wasn't she what is wrong with her shake my head the audacity of some people exactly why did she literally react like that he typed into google public toilets near me so like blame google don't blame him where's that toilet i need a toilet all of a sudden oh my god should we all go to the toilet just to piss her off i'm so sorry but we have to listen to her one more time she genuinely sounded like a cat no, no. you not block my way can you <laughs> 
You know, whenever cats are squaring up to each other, it literally sounds like that when they like meow and like shout at each other. What is wrong with that woman? Oh, oh god, look at the eyes. Oh, 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 damn. Grand Theft Auto. You're going the wrong way, love. It's that way. You touch me and that's... Okay, okay no, so no, she's no, driving the wrong way. No. Oh my god, though. <laughs> Other people are protesting against her. No, you said it. You did not. Are you blind? Look, there is an arrow. There's an arrow there. Because everybody comes here every day. Don't you be liable for it. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, look at her. She looks like a wee man. And she looks like Sharon Osbourne. Do you eat with that now? Oh god, I just love it whenever British people argue each other. G8 with that mouth. I just love it. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Yet again, some old people are scared. Like, she proper rough ya. Now, where in the UK is this, my lord, always get these people in supermarket car parks? If you're American, you'll not understand the British supermarket culture. Put it this way, do you ever see, like, big arguments in Walmart? Well, in the UK, they always happen in the car parks between people, and it's intense. As you may not I'm come I'm within two meters of me. I'm walking past you. I have a pair of crutches with me. All right, the walk past then. Between past, there then? and there is not sufficient. Then, you to be two meters walk past. Between walk past. you and me. Move, move your body. Walk past. Walk past. Walk past. You. Yeah, again, what is up with these people? It's just bizarre. It's like they go out of their way to ruin people's days. She definitely has six cats and lives alone. And there's high possibility she's also buried her ex-husband in the garden. She wasn't even using the crutches exactly. Like she wasn't using them. She pretended to be hurt. Shut you fuming? You move out of the way, please. This granny's got balls. <laughs> <laughs> If I ever see somebody on one of them little bicycles, I run in the opposite direction because it's usually teenage kids and they scare me. However, that granny proper got in his way like she was proper savage. For once a car and I agree with. Why do you need to ride in the pavement when you're meant to ride on the road? Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest. If the pavement was completely empty, which as you can see in the background, it looks like it is. Oh my god, look at her wee face. If like the pavement is empty, I've got no issue people riding on it. If it was completely bung, then yeah, riding the road. But I just can't get over the fact that, that granny literally stops someone in their tracks. People who ride them bicycles, you don't mess with them. I Parking spot. Yeah, I own this pub. We're, we're, Get a what marketplace? They're, they're on Facebook Marketplace, we're picking something up from the lady who I lives don't in that care. House. This is not a oh. parking spot. Do you know you're supposed to? It's COVID. Did yeah. your tooth just fall out? Yeah. Why are you, yeah. Why are you off you. my we're parking you. right you now? Know, we're filming You've you been right here now. half an hour. I don't care. I I'm getting the police. I'm getting the police. Call them right now. I am. Call them. Oh my god, whenever you look at her, it's like Prince Philip with a wig on. Like, she looks like a skeleton's been brought back to life. Roll your window up and ignore her. Well, I'm telling you right now, if you'd done that, you'd probably put her fist for you. Sharon Osborne. Oh god, yes, she kind of did look a bit like Sharon. Are you quite legal to park over somebody's drive? Is it a drive? Don't get too close. Okay, so this woman's fighting with a post meal person. Post meal oh, hat. Oh, well, it's Corona if you don't mind, so keep back off. You back off! You stop vandalising my son's car, like. Right? You're a bully. Why am I? You're a thief. Just He's a postman. You like stealing from your workplace. Why am I stealing from a workplace? You're a criminal. Right? Why am I a criminal? Well, for one, you're using your phone, aren't you? Oh, it's good evidence, isn't it? Oh my god, that was insane. It's like whenever you look at these people, you can see the insanity in their eyes. The cane hitting the ground every second. I was actually getting a bit scared for him because I was thinking she's going to make a connect with his bloody skull. We have to listen to the bit whenever she accuses him of like stealing and being a bully. You're a bully. Why am I? You're a thief. You're a thief. Get out of him, will you? You like stealing from your workplace. It's just so funny because like these people genuinely are insane. This was during COVID, so maybe lockdown like melted her brain. But how's she gonna accuse a postman of stealing packages? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I've seen so many videos of this woman. So, uh, can I ask what it is to you? Like, this is nuts. Look at her wee legs. Oh my God, she's like a footballer. Legs chicken like jelly. This is literally like the fifth video I've seen of her. Really out like she's wilding. always chasing people Karen skating. <laughs> Couldn't this be deemed as like harassment? Because she's like trying to intimidate them. This is hilarious, is what it is. 
Whose mom is this? Like yeah, someone so come I'm, and see if your mom. Why you're here, though. You just voice your concern, and we can talk about it like logical human beings. I, I didn't even say anything. Bro. I just said mind our business. And that was it. Oh! <laughs> oh God, she's gonna come zooming out somewhere soon. Where is she? Oh, there she is. A silent Karen in the wild. She stalks her prey. It's like an eagle. I just don't get it, to be honest. I don't get it either. What I'm assuming is that she's probably jobless and has got, like, loads of time. She's been in a bunch of videos. Has anyone figured out who she is? Yeah, so I actually mentioned that. I have seen her in other videos before. I swear I've just seen videos of her, like, chasing after people in skateboards. Yet again, if it was really crowded, I could understand why she'd do that. That's understandable. However, it literally looks empty. Like, there's no one there. A silent Karen in the wild. I cannot now. She's like a proper eagle. It's like an eagle stuck in a mouse. Like, it's getting ready to gobble it up. Okay, so this next Karen, I think I mentioned her in one of my other Karen videos. Basically, Basically, this woman is really, really homophobic to like a lesbian couple. It's shock and get ready. Hey, what that is, is not wrong okay. with you? That is not okay. So is, is that a sweat okay? stain? Yeah. No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Because you touch children. You children. I do oh. not touch children. Yes, because you're all evil. Oh. So she's calling lesbians evil. Do you go to church? Oh, I'll record you all day. Oh, sweetheart. You know who I work for? Do you know who I am? No, no, nobody knows who you are. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself talking to people this way. No, sweetheart. Actually, yes, sweetheart. I'm actually very proud. Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the manager. Oh, okay. I'm going to need your name. I'm going to need your name. My name is Mateo Suarez right there. Where is it? Imagine if someone took our little stroller. <laughs> We're so sorry. No, that's not you. I think in the end that woman did get kicked out of Starbucks, but it's the fact that she literally targeted a lesbian couple and called them like pedos. That's just like such like a homophobic trait that like Christians used to spread about like gay men. That men here gay and are attracted to other men are that way because they're attracted to little boys. It doesn't surprise me because that woman looks like she was born in the 1940s. But the one positive is that she's going to be dead since hopefully them beliefs can die with her. If she accused me of such a heinous crime, I would call the police and press charges against her. I support you doing that, but the sad thing is it'll probably not go anywhere. With a woman like that, they always get away with it. Getting yelled at by a sweaty green bean. Oh my god, yeah, did you see her? She had the pit stains, the boob stains, probably the feet stains. Hey, what is not wrong okay. with you? That is not okay. So is lesbianism okay? It is. Yeah. No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Because you touch children, you children. I do oh. not touch children. Yes, Look how sweaty she is. Oh. oh. Do you know how sweaty you have to be to literally have boob sweat? Yeah, again, look at her bingo wings. It's like, no wonder she's so sweaty if she's dragging them things along. Well, anyways, guys, that's where I leave that video there. That's some British Karens. If you want to see me look at some more British Karens, let me know definitely will. Press bigger subscribe and see you all tomorrow for another video.